I just got my Theros Fat Pack and uh, Booster Box. I'm going to open the Fat Pack and then uh, proceed to use six of them as a sealed experiment. Then three more, I'll add three packs uh, from the Booster Box. All right, let's open this baby. As uh, someone who opens product just for fun, I really like it when the product is sealed and it's silly but I like people opening the product in their videos when it's truly sealed. So here's that piece of cardboard that always comes out. Here's your art that you can uh, put on a wall uh, or something like that. Um, then here is the, uh, there's the box of course. When you open it, you can take out uh, these things, uh, and then you've got, of course, your two deck uh, thingies that I always use, and then, of course, you've got the contents of the Fab Pack, and, of course, the book, and I'll show the book pretty quickly. Uh, okay, so there are the packs. There's your box. I'll put it aside. There's your top of the box. I'll put it aside. I'll even manage to close it while I'm making this video. There you go. Uh, so now I can sit the camera down, and there is your book. Uh, very pretty book, of course. It's got lots of great artwork, um, and uh, of course, all the cards in the set. Uh, then here we go with the actual packs themselves. Um, Gonna open this one. So I got a uh, greenish, bluish uh, die. Set that aside. Then these are these are five packs, uh, and then a little insert of how to play Magic. I love these. They're always very readable and fun. Uh, they, should, they have a glossary. They tell you how to roughly play the cards at the simplest level. <clears throat> of course, if you <clears throat> play more, you'll see that there's uh, lots of exceptions. Uh, here's, I think, usually 100, 100 mana. Set that aside. And then we've got the other four packs. As I mentioned before, I'm going to pretend I'm on a sealed event, and I'm going to pick out six of these. Okay, and then off camera, I'm going to bring in three from the booster box. Those three are going to be in another video, and I'll make another sealed experiment. So there we go. This is the first uh, sealed experiment with Theros since I went to the pre-release, uh, in which I did horrible. I picked white and blue. I was not happy with my performance there. Uh, of course, I've been trying to get better at sealed. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use scissors. Uh, let me get through here. Okay, there's the first pack. Of course, black always throws the autofocus completely off until I rescue the autofocus with some other card. And black and green are the worst possible combination. Red usually does a little better. There we go. So that's pack number two. These packs are settled pretty well, so they don't have to be squeezed so much that the cards are all even. Okay, there's pack number three. Then pack number four. I'm not as crazy about this set as I was about Return to Ravnica. But, you know, it's got some really nice cards. And uh, really like the blue-black Planeswalker, just for the artwork. I'm not sure it's a particularly flavorful card. We'll find out. I mean, all these cards, you really find out when you play them. I'm not good enough to uh, as a player to figure it out before I even play them, which some people... 
are smart enough to be able to do. Okay, so I'm gonna do these the way that I would do them at a pre-release or a, or a sealed event. Just start going from the rares. Okay, so Ember Swallower, that's a red one. Then I've got Sentry of the, of the Underworld. Um, then I've got uh, Horizon Scholar, which I pulled in the pre-release. And Margie's Marauder, which has Devotion, which I also pulled in the pre-release. Set aside comments. Okay, then I've got a Rage Blood Shaman. So already two red rares. This is looking already like a good color. Trident Fortune Hunter, which I pulled in the pre-release. And then Erebus Emissary, which I also pulled. And Destructive Reverie, which I also pulled. So, okay, so there are the comments there. Let's put those comments back there. Uh, got a foil artifact, which I'll bunch in with the comments because it's a common. And there we go, Anger of the Gods. This is a great, great card. This is a sweeper. And so it's a wonderful, wonderful card. Definitely, I'm going red in this build already. Uh, Dark Betrayal. Favorite Hoplite. Uh, Rescue from Underworld. Very fat card, but very beautiful artwork. I really love that artwork. Look at that. Awesome artwork. Magic Wizards does really great with the artwork these days. Okay, so then Token, Land. Reaper of the Wilds, that's a, uh, a Golgari uh, rare. Then we've got Ordeal of Nylia, or Nylia, Magma Jet. Uh, sea God's Revenge, very nice card. Autofocus is not doing that well when I'm going so fast, but I'm going to do a review of all these cards. I'm just going through quickly. Oh, wow, very nice foil Sealock monster. Uh, then, oh wow, there we go. This is the money card of the set. So basically, uh, if the set doesn't pan out to be that great, which I think it will pan out to be a lot of fun, uh, you could call this set the Thought Seize Lottery. So that's pretty good. So that would make me want to go uh, red-black in a sealed event. Uh, Flame Speaker at that. Uh, Ordeal of Heliod. And Horizon Chimera, which I didn't have before, so I'm packing, putting all the uh, all the uncommons in a little neat pile off camera. Uh, and Anax and Siamid, I want to say Ajax, White Red, uh, another Dark Betrayal, uh, Vanquish the Foul, Anvil Rot Raptor, uh, uncommon. Okay, so those are all my commons. I see this card as white red. I pull the Thoughtseize, so I think uh, in an event I would have used that card. And of course, because it is the money card, I'm going to sleeve it right now. So I don't put my filthy paws all over it. Alright, so there's Thoughtseize looking at us. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm going to pick out all the red cards and all the different color cards. I'm probably not going to go Golgari, so I'll show you this pretty card and then take it off camera, just like I did with Annex, Ajax, whatever it's called. Okay, so let's put red and black in here first, put the artifacts to the side because they're always helpful. Uh, I'm going to put the other colors down there just because you never know if they turn out to be good if you have a lot of flyers in your selection. Okay. So there's another black card, white, black. We're not doing green, red, black. Another black one. Okay, now we go through the comments. It's pretty cool that I pulled the Thoughtseize um, out of the uh, Fat Pack. Clearly, these are six uh, packs that came from the Fat Pack. So I can say that I had a pretty good Fat Pack just because of that particular pull. OK. 
okay artifact oh messed up that's a white card in the red pile love the artwork for return phalanx that is a great piece of art and also viper's kiss awesome artwork as well This is one of the devotion cards. <coughs> Disciple of Phanax. Read the Bones is supposed to be a very good card. So I see already that we have a really good selection. Uh, Messenger's Speed, any, any red one drop I like. Those are my instant friends. Very heavy, Fade into Antiquity, three drop. Uh, exile target artifact or enchantment, very much like a naturalize, just a fat naturalize. Notice that I'm going fast, uh, and I'm probably going to run out of minutes in this particular video, uh, but I'll just show you guys very quickly a rundown of the cards. Uh, so I see here, if I do a creature count, that in red I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, nice sorcery, seven, eight. So I've got eight red creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven black creatures. Uh, let's see how many I've got in here of the white ones. One, two, three, four. So white ain't gonna make it at least a creature count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's pretty good. And I'll have to review to see how many flyers I picked up. One, two, three, four, five, six, six creatures. So I really, it looks like. I'm gonna. I can do a re quick review of white and green and discount them outright, and then in the next video I'll just focus on uh, the Grixis colors: blue, red, and black. Destroy target enchantment. That's not bad. I uh, pulled three of these in the uh, pre-release. God's willing. Uh, hopeful idol on Besto, which I'm not really crazy about at this point. Another God's Willing, target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice, and you scry one, uh, a flyer, white, green, uh, white, black, scholar of Anthreus. Chosen by Heliod, uh, when, it when, the car when this card enters the battlefield, draw a card, and bad. Two of them, another Eidolon, uh, one of the nymphs. Um, Valor, target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn, scry one, very fat, uh, heroic, uh, and then the one of the ordeals. I'm going to take, I'm going to say I'm not going to do white in this selection. Uh, then I think green was the other, I think, weak one. Uh, Staunch hearted warrior, it's got heroic. Um, Another creature uh, coming in with the gods. Fat exile target art, artifact or enchantment. Not a bad card, I think, in this in this particular seal experiment. Fog adding one. Uh, time to feed. Choose target creature and opponent controls. When that creature dies this turn, you gain three life. Tiger creature you control fights that creature. Could be interesting. On tap target land, that's like a fat. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Such scorpion with death touch. This is a great card. Really like it. Another commune with the gods. White, blue. Yeah, so green is out. Uh, 
Maybe if I do two colors, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, it's an artifact creature. That's not bad. Uh, I'm going to take the sable and put it aside. And I've got two of those. And this is a flyer, but it's a 4 to 1. It's a little heavy. Uh, and I think I'm going to stop there.